For the first time since 2008, Liberty will open its football season here at home inside Williams Stadium. Saturday night, Liberty will host Delaware State at 7 o'clock. After winning the Big South title and an FCS playoff game last year, the Flames are dealing with a lot of emotions heading into 2015. A lot of um, eagerness. There's a lot of anxiousness to get going and get this stadium popping on a, on a Saturday night. So, you know, I can't wait for it. Dell State all the way, and that's the only thing I've been thinking about for the last three weeks. So, can't wait, can't wait. Uh, I'm extremely excited. I mean, I can't wait to get out there and see, you know, 20,000 fans screaming for us. It's going to be something something great, something I haven't really felt uh, in two years. So I'm, I'm extremely excited just to get out there and hit somebody new. As you can imagine, Des Rice is especially happy to be back this year after missing all of 2014 with a torn ACL. He and Abner should give opposing defenses fits. That duo has combined for nearly 3,000 career rushing yards and 40 touchdowns. As for the opponent this Saturday, Delaware State as a new head coach. Kenny Carter, with previous stops at Louisville and Youngstown State, brings a plethora of experience to the Hornets, but it also means that Coach Turner Gill and his staff have had a lot of game film to watch. Yeah, we, we look at last year's Delaware State's film uh, so we can know their personnel, uh, you know, what their talent they may have and what we thought that they could do well. Um, and then you look at the, all the other games as far as where they have coached scheme-wise. Uh, you know, they coached at Youngstown State, they've been at Louisville, so you look at some of those tapes to see scheme-wise what they're going to do. Again, guy may still do his own thing uh, as being a coordinator or head football coach, but we definitely have looked at Delaware State from their personnel-wise to, to get an idea of what they can do and their, their, their talent. Yeah, I think uh, there's a very fine line to where um, you're being overloaded and to where you're prepared. And I think I've done a really, a really good job of you know, finding, finding that, that moment where, OK, I, th I think this is enough. I, I did a good job. I assessed everything pretty well today. Let's pack it up and see what I can do tomorrow. So, and I've also been breaking it down into sections, whether it's third down or what are the looks I'm going to get on first or second down, what am I going to get in this uh, type of formations. Being, being my fourth year as a coordinator, I'm really trying to make sure we're just focused on the fundamentals, the details of what we're going to try to do with our game plan and our calls. Uh, and so our goal is to make sure our calls can cover uh, a plethora of different things that we may see from wide open four by one, three by two, to if they want to make it a, a two back game. Or our calls are going to be uh, uh, called so that they can be successful. Junior Isaiah Ubata returns from a back injury for the Hornets to start at quarterback this fall. One thing that could help Robert Wimberley's defensive unit is the addition of the spur position, a hybrid linebacker defensive back, which helps the Flames adapt quickly to personnel changes. But the Flames believe the biggest difference on defense isn't just a new position. The speed of our defense, we're a lot more athletic, a lot faster than we have been in the past. So we're going to be running around making a lot more plays than normal. You don't have to don't have to think as much, and you you kind of take the pressure take the pressure off the coaches um, with simplifying down the defense and allowing us just to play, allowing us to react. The less we have to think, the more we can just re uh, read and react and play. Coach Turner Gill's defense had the third most turnovers in the country a year ago, forcing 32. And Coach Gill says that he wants to see his defensive unit take the ball away at least three times here on Saturday night. He also noted that he wants to see his special teams make a big play. Flames did not have a kickoff or a punt return for a touchdown last year. That was the first time that had happened since 2005. Liberty leads the all-time series with Delaware State 9-5. The Flames and Hornets will kick it off right here at Williams Stadium Saturday night at 7 o'clock. In Lynchburg, for the Liberty Flames Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.